Well, in the Smokies, high waters forced the park to evacuate more than 200 campsites at the Elkmont Campground. It's one of the park's most popular campgrounds. We check in once again with 10 News reporter Jim Matheny live in the National Park there where the water, Jim, still rushing behind you. Yeah, it sure is, John and Beth. But you know, all of that heavy rain that fell overnight just has funneled down the mountainsides here in the Great Smoky Mountains and added some unexpected excitement for a few family vacations. First time in Tennessee and had to be evacuated from a campground. James Sanford and his family traveled from New York to Elkmont for a week-long vacation. And that relaxing river almost gave them water beds. This fella right here was sleeping in the hammock and he actually woke up with the water coming up this far. They kept coming, sheriffs just kept coming around saying, you guys gotta, you gotta leave. Between 8 a.m. and 11 a.m., you saw this big spike from about two feet to about eight and a half feet. About six inches of rain have fallen this week, so we already had saturated soils. A park ranger shot this video at Elkmont and Metcalf Bottoms. You can see the water overflowing the banks and up to the bottom of bridges. The flood also took down trees and shut down part of Little River Road. If we continue to get some pop-up showers over the next couple of days, we could see these rivers rising rapidly again. A lot of campers had to leave their things behind when they evacuated, but the Sanfords managed to take everything down. Campers who came back to Elkmont found most of their campsites still intact with no damage. Now the Sanfords are putting everything back up. And now we're in the process of putting his hammock back so he can sleep in the exact spot that he uh, had to be removed from because of the flood. We're going to rough it out. We're tough New Yorkers. Just hope, God, please don't make it rain anymore. Because if it rains... And again, nobody was hurt in this flooding so far. No reports of any injuries. But the park is also trying to get in touch with any backcountry hikers just so they know in case they have any water crossings to expect very John and Beth, back to you. Jim Matheny live for us in the mountains tonight. Thank you. All